explain this one to me. How does an undrafted free agent get on an NFL roster, let alone see a lot of playing time? It's a hard one to answer right off the break. Don't, 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 don't tell me you can't even answer the question. <laughs> no, I can answer the question. I can definitely answer the question. But here's the thing. You got, you got a shot, mm -hmm. and that's really all you can ask. Exactly. And you got to make the most of that. There's a lot of pressure there. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. And that, and even outside of that, outside of, it, you know, you having that shot of playing in the NFL and playing on the NFL roster, you got pressure from your family. You got pressure from your former coaches, your friends, the coaches here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the, your teammates here. They all want to see you succeed. They all want to see you succeed because at the end of the day, it helps us succeed. Yeah. You talk about your mom. Mm -hmm. uh, how strong of a woman is she? Because mm -hmm. let's talk about your dad, you, mm -hmm. which you, who you never knew. Never met. Died when mm -hmm. he, you were just four months old. Yes, sir. He was murdered, shot seven times. Um, I want to say in front of his store. We had, a, we had a clothing store. You knew no different mm -hmm. about not having a father or having a father. So how did that affect how you grew up? It was rough. You know, as I got older, it was a little bit rough because I didn't, I didn't think it was causing me to be angry or anything like that. But, um, you know, my mom had kind of, you know, looked into me getting some counsel and stuff like that. And they were like, well, let's talk about it. Because I never talked about it with anybody. Like, have you ever talked about it? I'm like, nah, what, right. what do I need to talk about? Right. He's dead. What are you going to say? Yeah, right. he's dead. I don't know. You know what, what are we talking about? And so once I actually met with a counselor and started, you know, kind of get some things off my chest and uh, she kind of made me realize why I was, you know, behaving a certain way and stuff like that. Well, and, and it kind of made more sense to me as I grew up, but it was rough at first. What do you think your dad would say right now? Here you are in the uh, NFL. Yeah, I mean, my dad, my dad would definitely be very, very excited for, not even for me, but just for the family, like, you know, the last name, you know, the, you know, things like that. That's what my dad was about. Um, me being a man, me being being able to take care of myself, me being able to take care of my mom, if you know, if need be, you know, because that's what he was. My mom told me that's what he did. He took care of the family. So, just for him to see me put myself in a position where I could take care of my family, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's all. That's all he could ask for. Uh, when are we gonna see the dancing bear again? I gotta get, I gotta get another sack. My last sack it was, uh, you know, at the end of the game. So I was like, oh, I ain't gonna pull it up. But uh, I got, I gotta get, I gotta get to the quarterback more. I get to the quarterback more. Yeah. I dance a lot. So. Can you give us a little bit right now? How, you a how bit? it works? Just a yeah, bit? we got a little. Yeah. yeah. Bit, which camera are we looking at? Hang on. You looking in? The, you looking? Which camera are we looking at? The money dance? We got the money dance. <laughs> we got this money dance a little bit for. Him. <laughs> That, that actually kind of looks a little uh, <laughs> suggestive. I don't. How's that work? I don't know. Oh man, it's just you know, it's all it's all funny. You fighting off the girls after something like that? Ah, I can't. My girlfriend would kill me if she <laughs> ever did. Good answer. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate it.